And now you go to education system, right? I had a guy in my group. There's a guy in my community. His name's Thomas. Tall, white, six foot tall. Probably has like 10% body fat. Jacked. He looks like Captain America. Ultra smart. Genius kid. One of the smartest young men I've ever met in my entire life. 19 years old now, I believe. Absolute infant in life. Going to college. Super smart kid. He has to sit through lectures, right? He has to sit through lectures telling him, and he has to do this to get his degree. In order to get his degree, he has to sit through lectures telling him why he's bad for being white and why he has white privilege. He's a bad person for being white, and he should be ashamed of being white. And this is part of the curriculum, which is insane, literal insanity, okay? Um, and let me tell you something. To uh, If you guys don't donate $100 right now, you're a beta oh, male, you're a cuck, you're blue pill for life. <laughs> You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and I just saw something on Twitter, and it said the and and let me tell you something to my black brothers out there, you guys are next. They said the straight black man is the white man of black people, literally. I saw that on Twitter. Okay. Okay. Um, it is insane. It's absolutely insane. Okay. They're having people sit in a lecture. Can you imagine being a Latino person? Let's say, so you're a Mexican, right? And you're sitting in, um, in Mexico and they're like, Hey, we're going to talk to you in this Mexican run university about your Mexican privilege and why you have privilege in Mexico. And you shouldn't have privilege. Same thing in China. What if they had this class like, okay, because you're Chinese, you have these Chinese privileges, and you should feel shame for who you are. Japanese, Korean, we could go down the list, Indian, Saudi, okay? That's happening now in America. And it's happening in colleges across the nation. All right? And... Uh, somebody says you want to call in. Look, if you're gonna call in and fight with me, and like say how like why there's like why, like I don't care what you have to say like about white privilege or not. The fact that they're putting that in education and making white people feel bad about themselves as part of an academic curriculum. If you're calling in to de to defend that, first of all, you're a fucking moron. You are a very dumb person. Okay. Second of all, go fuck yourself. I don't want to talk to you. I don't ever want to talk to you. Okay, because that's just stupidity that I just refuse to deal with, right? And my Muslim brothers, they're coming for you too. The fucking, uh, how about the cuties thing, right? Nine-year-old little girls twerking on Netflix. The culture is sick. It is a sick culture. That is not okay. Why do I, uh, why do I, a guy who does YouTube channel wearing sunglasses in a bathrobe, have to sit here and say, like, hey, listen, little girls, nine-year-old, prepubescent girls twerking on stage is disgusting. And it's a slap in the face to every Muslim that tolerated that. I know the movie was a French film and it was done by a black woman, but that doesn't make sense. I don't give a fuck. It could have been done by the most, like, the most SJW point person, like a transgender amputee who was, like, you know, z pronouns are zur and whatever. I don't give a fuck who produced that shit. It's sick. It's sickening. That's not healthy. And these people are the same ones that want to tell you that you are invalid as a man. But I am here to tell you that those sick, disgusting people are wrong. There's nothing wrong with you being a man. I don't give a fuck what the color of your skin is. I don't give a fuck how old you are. I don't give a fuck what language you speak. There is nothing wrong with you being a man.
There's nothing wrong at all. You need to internalize that. You're not defective because you're a man. You're not a freak because you're a man. You're not some predator in in like in hibernation ready to like, oh, I'm just charging up my sexual assault powers. No. Okay? It's a lie. It's bullshit. I internalized that years ago. And the reason I started this channel is because I realized a lot of men were believing these lies. These blatant garbage lies. Men are the ones that have created the majority of the things on this planet. Okay? And that, that's not me trying to disparage women. There's no fucking competition here. We need to work together. Period. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, look, don't believe these, these, these lies. Don't believe this garbage. Don't believe this poison that they're trying to push on you. I don't care, again, I don't care how old you are. I don't care how fat you are. I don't care how skinny you are. I don't care how much you bench. I don't care how much you make in crypto. I don't care how many bitches you bang. I don't care about none of those things. Okay? If, <coughs> if you take one thing away from this conversation here, okay, you have to realize that you are not defective as a man, all right? You can do a lot of awesome things, okay, because you're a man. Yes, just because you're a man. If you do the work, you can do these things. 